Good morning, my friends. Happy Wednesday. Um, here we are, back around again. It's peony season, my favorite. I've been so excited. I have taken hundreds of pictures of peonies and hoping to get more before the season ends. Good morning, Michael. Hi, Laura. Good morning, Donna. Hi, Barb. Hi, Erica. How are you guys? Good morning. Um, I feel like I've had a busy, busy day already. Good morning, Carol Ann. <clears throat> I'm getting ready for, I'm doing a Rehoboth art show this coming weekend. I will be there on Saturday at Grove Park in Rehoboth. And it's my first show of the season. So it means like getting all the things out and making sure I have everything I need. And it's a lot, it's a lot, a lot. But my house is a complete wreck, but that's all right, right? <coughs> and I'm getting ready for, um, for Rittenhouse, the Rittenhouse Square Fine Art Show is also coming up. Good morning to Nova Scotia. It's coming up, um, bon dia in two weeks, two, three weeks, two weeks. I don't know, really soon. I'm working on some marketing stuff for that right now. Painting peonies since your last, oh yay, good. I'm glad I'm inspiring the painting of peonies. Let me turn this around because I know you don't want to be looking at me. So, oh. No, this is wonky, huh? I didn't test this this morning. I was working on my computer all morning. Hi, Lori. All right. Let's see if I can get that out of the way and move it like this. Okay. <coughs> Morning to Ontario. You know I forgot my cough drops. Oh, I have one over there. All right. So this is going to be a little bit challenging. This is a close-up of like a coral colored peony. So pretty, right? Um, I, th I was going back and forth thinking, and I didn't want to think about it too much because I wanted to think out loud, um, whether I want to do my permanent rose background, good morning, Anita, or if I want to do maybe a yellow, do an Indian yellow. Hi, Susie. Um... So I'm not sure. I love all this yellow showing through, but sometimes Indian yellow can be such a strong color that it's hard to unyellow it. So I think I'm going to do my the permanent rose. That's that's what I decided. Um, and do I even? I'm trying to think if I want to. I don't like this paintbrush at the top. It's wonky. I'm putting that away. Oops, sorry. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do the whole thing in the pink. I'm going to try and keep this loose and spontaneous, like it's always my goal. Don't always achieve it. Oh, you want Indian yellow? Ah, why don't I do a little bit of both? I'm going to do Indian yellow in the middle where I really want it to be yellow. Kind of go back to when I used to um, put in the color I wanted it to be. Let's do a little bit of a few different colors. Let's just change it all up. Driving to Arkansas for grandson's graduation. That wasn't that fun. My gosh. Oh, you know what? This, I didn't, I didn't, I don't have the, um, the grid. I can't, there, there's the grid. <laughs> can't do it without the grid. It's like, that's the first thing I looked for. That's like, I don't know where the grid is. I also put it in black and white just to reference it to see um, where the dark and light areas are. This is kind of hard to see because it's really, most of this entire thing is lights, not darks. Okay. Yes, I'm gonna do a few colors in here. Maybe I'll even do my blues up at the top there. This is fine because it's a little bit different. It's not a bright pink like I like to paint with. It's more of a um, more of a peach color. You know I never know what it's going to turn out as. Um, let me clean off my brush. I'm going to keep it spontaneous. It's up here where this the white flowers are. I'm going to do a manganese blue hue. I always love that color too. A little purple. 
purple up there would be fun. Little purple's always fun. Yeah, so I feel like I've got a lot of stuff going on right now. Sometimes it's hard to keep up with all of it, but it'll all get done in its own good time. Isn't that how it always works? I think it is. I have faith that it is. Beautiful start. It's fun, isn't it? Um, what else do I want? Oh, there's a little pink back here. That's what I was thinking. There's pink back here. All right. I think that's a good good start for transparency. I could blend these a little bit <clears throat> in here just so that I have a base coat. I'm going to clean off my palette and then I'm going to do my pigment sticks next and then mix colors. So for the color mixing, I really just need kind of all those peach colors and the whites and a splash for that background. Oops. That's what doesn't make noise. Five minutes. Yeah, it's like an, a little abstract looks like a little fabric-ish thing, doesn't it? <clears throat> I just love this um, iridescent gold. I put it in all my paintings, and I would say that for the most part, you don't even notice it when the painting's done, but every now and then it shows through, and I love when it does. It's like I try to do this to keep myself spontaneous and not precious about things, but then... I don't work too hard to hold on to it. <clears throat> Should I put this crazy color in there? What do you think? Or is that going to be distracting? I'm not sure. Let me do my reds. I have two peony plants that are in that color. Oh, do you, Anita? How fun. I have one. Mine isn't this color. I would love to plant some more peonies. It's on my wish list for sure. But I know where all of them are on my walks through my neighborhood. And I'm sure everyone thinks I'm crazy because they look out their windows. I'm always outside photographing their flowers. No one's told me I can't. <laughs> um, there's a little bit of color there. I do feel like doing this a little bit. Where should I put it? Maybe I'll put it up in these flowers. It might all get covered anyway. And if I don't like it, I can just cover it up, right? It's no commitment. I don't have to keep anything we don't want to. So where's everybody listening from? Karen says, I have eight peony plants in different colors, still wanting a coral color. Oh, how fun. Mm -hmm. And green. Should we do a little green? Pop between aqua and orange. Isn't that fun in there? It's usually more than anything and something that I'm always trying to learn about is like the dance of colors like the ones that react to each other usually complementary colors but not always and how wonderful they look is the coral most rare I don't know I do know um place where I went floret flowers near me had them and I wanted to go and I just didn't have enough time because it's like half an hour away and that would be like an hour and a half commitment of not being at work and I just it's not that it can't happen. It could still happen. <coughs> From Toronto, Ontario, Brazil. What's the pencil? Oh, these are called um, RNF pigment sticks. That's oils. It's oil paint in a stick form. So it's oil paint with a little bit of wax in it. So it kind of helps me loosen up to have something. I love using like a drawing tool like that. So I need yellows, corals darks and lights, and then these white pinks up here. Pink Hawaiian Coral. Oh, that's such a fun name, Jennifer. 
I love pink Hawaiian coral. I mean, that sounds amazing. This is dirty. I'm going to wipe this off. This is when I from when I did my base layer. So I'm just using a little bit of um, this Chelsea lavender brush cleaner to wipe off my palette. Because I do want to kind of keep my colors a little bit. See how much comes off. It doesn't look like much. But then there's really a lot on there. Okay. Now for color mixing... Where do I begin? I feel like this is still wet. Give me one more second here. Shelly says, good morning. So nice to be up early watching you paint today. Well, thanks for joining me. What kind of board? Oh, this is this is just a piece of um, marble, like from the countertop store. It's a sample. I bought, uh, you can paint, like usually I used to have a glass palette and then I painted underneath black, gray, like a piece of paper so that it wouldn't be pure white because it's easier to mix on a gray. You can see your colors better. But when I was filming my art in Bloom course, um, I was afraid of the reflection. So I bought this instead and ended up loving it. So I never switched back. All right, so I'm going to start with my darker Oh, maybe I'll start with a dark background color first. Kind of a brownish, grayish color. Um, with a little purple, maybe. Let's see how it looks. Purplish, brownish. More gray in there. I don't need much of that. It's just that little corners have color. I think that's good enough. Um, I'm just going to keep a little bit of that because it's good to have whatever colors you kind of have in your background. It's good to have them somewhere in because of how colors reflect off of each other. Um, now I need my darker areas. <clears throat> I'd mixed this over here just to see what colors I needed. Um, and what color do you think? I can't even remember what I did. I think I used this permanent rose in there. And then I probably made it neutral with a little bit of gray. I might need more gray. So I'm trying to get my darker um, inside <coughs> the petal colors. No, wait, I need a sip of my coffee. Um... <clears throat> It's hard. I don't want it too dark. <clears throat> um, I'm going to get more of the permanent rose and lighten it with a little bit. <coughs> this color is... I'm sorry, let me get a cough drop. <clears throat> mm. Where is this color that I was going to tell you about? <coughs> <coughs> it's so good for this, but I can't find it now. Anyway, it's out here. It's right here. <coughs> and I'll find it in a minute. Now, the more I try not to cough, the more I'm going to have to cough. I apologize. That's nice. It's still a little too pink. I'm going to add some Indian yellow into that. These colors are like kind of those subtle colors that's hard to name, which are the colors I love. Oh, that's good. That's that's a nice. That's yep, that works. Okay. Let's do a little bit more of that and maybe more Indian yellow in there. Maybe a little bit more of this. It's always good to switch things up and paint things in different colors because, um, no, wait, I need more of that pink. Hmm. I had a coupon for Michael's and I wanted to go get some more. They have one, carry the Windsor Newton colors, but it's always so hard because you have to get someone to go unlock the, the case. I always wish they put them up front so I wouldn't have to go 
hunt somebody down. <laughs> do you guys ever buy? I usually buy all my stuff online, but every now and then I do like to go to Michael's. It's fun. That's really pretty. I'd say that's similar in value to that one, so I'll move that over. I am going to need to find that color. Um, what on earth did I do with it? Here it is. This is the color I'm talking about. Montserrat orange. It's, it's really pretty, and it's that the crimson red. Oh, no. Oh, maybe addicted to Michael's. Um, the red is probably permanent rose. Oh yeah, those are nice. Now I think I need to go a little bit lighter with each of them. I'm gonna add white in here. And the same here. Might be a little too no, that's good. Those are really pretty. All right, then I just need like my kind of gray, white for the background. Mm, but I need the bright um, yellow on the inside. Let me get more. <clears throat> this is my favorite um, Indian yellow, is Vasari base orange color. Uh, it, it, I think it might have been this Indian yellow. These are more in the Indian yellow range and this has more permanent rose in it. Because if you look at the, the image, like this is more yellow in here and this more pink up in here. That's what I'm seeing. We'll see how that works. Now I need like my whites. I'll take a little purple because the yellow and purple are magic together. And make that a little bit gray. I need it more gray. I'm mixing for the shadow side of the, the white flowers. Um, that could go a little darker. I do black here. I think this is black. Yeah, that's good. I want to make sure I have a good tonal range, too. A value, so I have from dark to light. <clears throat> good morning to anybody joining in. Yeah, that's nice. And then I have to go to pretty pure white. I need more white. I use up more white than I ever think that I will. What is this for blood? It's wonderful to see this part too. Oh, the color mixing is so much fun. Oh, can you hear me now? Keep that, and then I'm just gonna mix just a little bit, warm up the white. So that's like a cool white and a warm white. Oh, oh, yeah, the purple. This is, yeah, I called it purple. Let me show you. I love that color too. Um, it's nice for kind of neutralizing. You know, I couldn't find it this morning when I was putting it on my palette. I need someone to come organize my paint colors. Anybody want to do that? <laughs> I'm so bad at being organized. Um. Now wait, where did I put it? 
So I keep all my paints up here in, in these bowls. Those are my main paints that I have in the back. And then I call these my mixing colors. I have all of them right here in front of me. I mean, that's crazy. What is that purple? It is called violet gray. Oh, here it is. It's um, an old Holland color. So that's this color right here. Isn't that pretty? And that's what I use to mix the grays for the white peonies up here. So I think that's a good start of color mixing. I'm going to move that over a little bit so you can see. And I'm sorry this thing bops around. I need to get a stationary stand so that it's not bouncing. It's on my list. Okay. What do you mix? It looks like, yeah, it's a piece of marble. That's what it is. All right. So I usually start with my darker areas. Um... Do my um, there's a little bit in here. Now I'm looking for where my darkest the shadow areas of the flower. What's new with everybody? I do still have a spot in my um, France retreat that's coming up next month. So if anybody has a wild hair and thinks you might like to join us, it's going to be an amazing trip. Um, and there's one spot left. And also, I will be at Square Pear Gallery Um Wednesday, Thursday night. So if anyone's in the area, come see me. They have a beautiful show there right now. It's all florals by all local artists. And 22 local artists, I think. And she put together such an amazing show, Corrine. I'm excited to go see it. <clears throat> And then the next day, I'll be getting ready to go to Rehoboth. The show does look pretty, doesn't it, Allie? Yeah, I agree. It takes a lot of work to put together a show like that, to curate all the pieces and then set them all up. I guess it's really like doing an outdoor show. It's just inside. I'm thinking about what I'm going to do. So these, this is like, so much of this um, piece is really light. I always kind of um, work up my painting going all the way around so that I see it kind of coming together. I'm not good at like just working on one area, focusing on one area, and then moving to another area. I, I like watching other people who paint like that, but I'm not good at that. I 
It is, yeah, Helen, it is a very challenging image. Yeah, you know me, I don't shy away from doing something that I'm not sure will even turn out on my Wednesday morning lives, which is a little crazy, but... I'm having a show in June at an art guild that I belong to. This is my first show. I'm excited and a little nervous. Oh, Karen, that's, yeah. And it is, it's a little scary to do it, but once you get in practice of it, the show part isn't scary. I get overwhelmed by um, the prep, like the setup for it. But the show itself, like if I could just show up and someone else would set up the show, I love that part of it. I love meeting people. Although I was shy doing that in the beginning, too. I'm just getting better at it. Yes, that is exciting. It's fun. It's really fun to do, actually. It's the only... It's the it's the special thing about it is you get to see people react to your artwork, to see what they like or don't like, what, what speaks to them. I think that's really precious, priceless. Do you clean your brush? I just wipe it off with, I have um, paper towels right here. I just wipe it with a paper towel. Oops, that's all I'm doing. I So far, I've, good morning, Nancy. I've only used one brush so far. I, I do have a smaller one out here if I feel like I need it, like for the. I hope that didn't cut me out. Tell me if you can't hear me. Let me know. Can you can you guys hear me? I hope so. <laughs> Sometimes when that happens it like kicks me totally out of anyone hearing. <clears throat> oh good. Allie gave me thumbs up. Hmm. Now what am I going to do here? Now you can. Good. All right. Hopefully it's still recording. I have so many crazy technical, technological things sometimes with this. But... Um, all right. You can hear now. Okay. Uh, what are good filbert brushes? I don't know much about them. Are they always rounded? No, these are called flats. So I like short flats. Oh, yes. You will be exhausted after the show. Yes, that it is hard. I have a hard time doing a show and then coming home and working the next day. I feel exhausted. And you wouldn't think it would be that tiring, but... It, like I said, it's more setting up and everything than it is being doing the show. Yeah, it's a little messy looking. Um, but I can't quite go to like colors yet. So this is still a little bit more pink back in here. Um it's tiring. Yes, it is tiring being on all day. And that's something I'm not used to doing at all. Um, it's such a little solitary time here in my studio all the time. For me to socialize all day long is exhausting. It's 
this. I'm doing some lighter. So I'm looking at this side. It looks a little gray in there. Um, I'm going to make that. I want that to be a little bit of a dark, maybe not quite that gray. Oh, wait a minute here. That's a little paint booger. See it on there? I got that. Whoop. Can you see that? I'm going to get that off my brush. Not focusing. <clears throat> I needed to mix a little bit more paint. I'm going to mix up a little bit more of my kind of medium peachy color. And I want to kind of map out where some stuff is so that get too lost. Buenos dias. Do you do live paint at your shows? No, I did. Um, in the past, like at Rittenhouse, they would have us do it. And then once COVID happened, I don't think that they do that anymore. Have live painting demos. Actually, it's, it's hard like, I don't have enough room in my car to take stuff to paint live. I did it um, in the beginning because I was naive, and I always think I can do anything. <laughs> it takes me a while to learn what I truly can and can't accomplish. But, yeah, packing things in my van is extremely difficult. Like, I literally can only fit exactly what I need to take with me and not one more thing. I think Isabel's going to come along to Rehoboth, my daughter. So we'll probably, we'll have to take two cars. Isn't that crazy? Art stuff takes up a lot of space. And it's only a one day show, but you still have to have, you know, a lot of artwork. Um, this is the messy middle. As I'm kind of looking around, dancing around it, I'm not sure where I'm going. So I'm going to do a little bit of these later colors up in here. I'm going to play with this. I don't want to get too detailed with it, but I do want it to read as white peony in the background there. Got a lot of paint on my brush there on the side. Whoops. I, my paint's a little bit thick. I don't like when that happens. Sometimes it's a little hard to control. I'm packing my car today, moving my daughter out of her dorm. Oh, fun. Yeah, I just did that with Isabel last week or two weeks, two weeks ago already. It's nice to have her home. <clears throat> so I'm just wanting it to have a feel of the white peony in the background. I don't want it to be too dominant back there, but <clears throat> just those little brush strokes really make a big difference. And I love the colors popping through there. I mean, that's not really what you see, but I love that artistic license. Um. Oh, let me make that point right here. I think that's good. I shouldn't fuss with that too much. I'm reading How to Spot an Artist to my granddaughter's kindergarten class this morning. Oh, yay, Susan. I love that book. That's so fun. I'm sure they will love it. Mm -hmm. 
very fun. So fun reading to a group of kids. I miss that. I always do it at um, We Care Daycare once, um, right around Valentine's Day. That's the book I read. Will you be posting this reference photo anywhere? I could put, I'll put it on my, um, on my, wherever I put it, on my website. And in the blog section of my website. <clears throat> Can you say something about composition? When is it okay to have subject go off canvas? Well, I would say, hmm, I don't know that I'm really all that great at composition. I have always been like a graphic designer. So I think that's how I make decisions of my compositions. I think you can do whatever you want. I mean, they have all like the rules of thirds that you want a focal point to be at, you know, if you break your painting like into three sections and three sections, you want a focal point to be somewhere on those points. Like there's all those different kinds of things to do to um, make a good composition. But I don't know. I I like to learn all the rules and then forget them a little bit. And I love, more so than going off, I love, so your focus is right in here. That's why I crop in like that. And I'll play around with my crops, you know, on my iPad until I get something that like, I'm like, wow, I love that. I think I always say learn all the rules and then forget them because then intuitively you're still following some of them but you're doing your own thing sometimes not following the rules is where you find your your own voice a little bit of your art if that makes any sense um Hmm, sorry, I'm thinking a lot here. I gave myself a challenge, that's for sure. It's always good to challenge yourself. Do things that are out of your comfort zone. Um... My lightest lights. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a little wild. Hmm. mesmerizing and relaxing it painting is the most relaxing thing to me it is so relaxing and you would think that it wouldn't be I think the more you do it the more relaxing it is of course you have to like practice it but when I'm doing this I'm more calm than I am any other time of the day that's why I try to always start my day painting because it is calming to me I'm in Colombia. Good coffee here. Oh, lucky you. Who's having coffee or tea? I'm having my fat cow coffee. Good morning, Emily.
All right, I still need my lightest lights and I'm kind of avoiding the center area. Um, oh, maybe I should dive in here a little bit. Three little things. Candles, music, and oil paint. Nothing better. Diet Dr. Pepper and water. Hmm. Diet Dr. Pepper. I haven't. I don't. I don't know that I've ever had Dr. Pepper. I think I need a little bit of bright permanent rose in here. I'm going to keep my confidence. I'm having an apple on my patio. Well, Terry, that sounds really healthy and lovely. You got off soda. Wasn't, is, is that who said, was having doc, Diet Dr. Pepper? Isn't that the same? Diet Dr. Pepper. Yeah, my husband loves soda. I don't love it. I could never have another soda again and not care. And maybe a little vino if the clock cans are in the right position. I like that. That's too fun. You can always move your clock cans wherever you want them to go, can't you? Um, it's looking quite messy. Not sure it's going to turn out, but I don't, I haven't lost my faith. Oh, oh, no sugar. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um. I want these little bits in the center here to really, sh really pop because um, they're like the focal point. So I'm just carving in a little bit of a darker color. So wherever the colors are d the most dramatic light and dark against each other is where your eye will go first. Good morning, Ellen. Whoops. <clears throat> My doctor said that side turns your cardiovascular system into paper mache. Ugh. What does? Cardiovascular system into paper mache. Oh, soda. Ugh. Yeah, it's, it can't be good for you. I'm looking for my darks and lights. It's, I'm not going to put my brightest, those little yellow bits in there till the very end. What time is it? 8.44. I always have to pay attention to my time. I need a little bit of lightest lights here. And I wanted a warmer white. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I'll just... Maybe take some of this. I need a little bit more. You lost 40 pounds from not drinking soda? Mushy cow, what a fun, fun name. I see the face in the middle of the painting. Oh. Look for my lightest lights. Um, no sugar food either. Yeah, it is healthy to give up sugar. It's so hard. Especially ice cream season. 
I love going to get ice cream at the, we have an ice cream place that's only like a five minute walk from my house. Not a good thing. very hard to give up sugar. I'm going to look for my lightest light. Still doing that. This. I take my Colombian coffee black now. No cream? Or did you always put sugar in it? I just used the teeniest bit of cream. I love just a little bit of half and half. When I go to um, France, they drink their coffee so differently. It's a hard adjustment. Like my Americana coffee. I'll just drink cappuccino. I do love that. I'm going to Put some of these little fun bits in. Is it Rita's? I love Rita's when my husband worked in PA. No, it's called Sons. It's like really close to my house. So we walk there a lot. It's a, a local ice cream place. We do have a Rita's, but I'd have to get in the car to go to Rita's. I don't know. What do you guys think? Not sure what I think about this. This is a tricky one. I knew it would be. We drink tiny coffees all day, even at 85 degrees. I do like tiny coffees. Because you can have more of them, right? I'm going to get a smaller brush, I think, for this. What are tiny coffees? Well, like in, in Europe, their coffees are just what we would consider almost half a cup of, a half of a small cup of coffee. The yellow of spikes, lighter in color. Yes, I do have that here. That's why I got the small brush out and then I got distracted. here. That's pulling it together a little bit more. It's amazing to me if I leave the live and come back, the evolution, yeah. It is sometimes amazing to see. Sometimes. <laughs> also scary. Okay, let me see. These need a little bit more definition. Want your eye to go there. Maybe a little more green. Time is it 50? I'm still okay on time. Okay, um, it's getting there. Now I think my this darker area got too defined there.
I feel like more light is needed on the petals. Yes, I agree with you. I do need to go in there and lighten that up a little bit more. Almost white, really. Do I feel happy with these? Yeah, I think that looks good. I think I will get a little bit larger brush here and work on where my lightest lights because this is drawing my eye up there more. Yes, yeah, squint to see the lights. And my eye gets drawn up there because those light whites are the whitest, are the lightest or most dramatic. I don't know what they are. <laughs> no, no. <coughs> All right. That one is still one of the lightest petals. I'm thinking hard right now. <laughs> All right, we see anything that I'm missing? I'm using up my full amount of time today, aren't I? I could go a little more neutral here. I like. Um, I need a little more white, maybe just a little bit more white, and then I think I can be finished. Do you see anything that I'm missing? Just one spot, the left side where the dark is... Um, and the violet they here here what are you thinking I'm not sure where no oh, wait what did you say on the left edge over here oh in here more definition in there, is that what you mean, this? Um, oh, and in here I could do a little, little something in there to give that shape. Flower part deep up here. Or make this darker in here. I don't want to fuss with the whites anymore. Oh, uh, what time is it? 54. We're still okay. One time. I'm squinting at it and thinking, do I have all my lightest lights? I could do a little bit of something right in here. <laughs> Thank you, Ellen. Thanks, guys. I got it. Oh, good. I know there's always things that I miss. Like it's hard to, I'll finish a painting and photograph it and list it. And then I'll go back and look at it again and find something that I didn't see before. And then I'll have to do it all again because I'll fix it. Sign it. Okay. All right. That's what I'm going to do. Sometimes I always say, well, if I go too far, then I'll mess it up. All right. I'll show it to you. So there's my reference image, and I can put that on my website uh, under the blog section. And then there, I'll give you a close-up. I love all those colors in there. And then here's my palette. And so thanks for coming and hanging out with me this morning. 
I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will be back here again next Wednesday. Um, I love that you come and hang out with me while I paint. So have a great day and I'll see you again next week. Thank you. Bye everyone.